Okay guys, so uh, right before the video gets started, um, I am now on summer break, so expect more videos now. Hopefully, very hopefully, this video, uh, this is my second time recording it, so yeah. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the hyper roll or the seamless transition. So I'm not sure what I'm really going to be titling on it, but um, yeah, I'm going to be making this transition that you saw in the beginning. And uh, actually it's really simple, although it looks very complex, it's actually pretty, pretty easy. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, you're going to want to go, well first of all, you're going to get your clips ready and uh, you're gonna right click on them and go to switches and make sure that resample is disabled I always do that to my clips just because it makes it run better and stuff so yeah I'll go ahead and do that then go ahead and go to video effects go to Esplumer curves and get the default and add it onto your first clip so uh, now from here you're just gonna want to change the wrap to reflect on both of these and we're gonna animate the Z distance the rotate and the shift Y and uh, you're gonna want to move all of these to the end and you're gonna change all of these to fast fade then you're gonna want to go back uh, about uh, 20 frames which is kind of the ideal length you want it at so we're at 3.01, so we're gonna go back to 2.11, I believe. And uh, we're gonna change all of these to a slow fade. Okay, so let's go back to the last frame on Z distance, and we're gonna change this to a 0 0.1. And we're, and we're gonna change the rotation to 90 degrees. And the shift Y, that's gonna be five. And uh, that's pretty much it for the first one. Now we're basically just gonna do the opposite on the next one. So again, you're gonna wanna add the default preset. And uh, of course, we're gonna change the wrap to, not tile, reflect, obviously. And we're gonna animate the, of course, the same thing. Z distance and uh, rotate and shift Y. This time we're gonna leave them at the beginning and we're gonna go here and go to our time stamp thing and we're gonna go 20 frames forward so you just have to put that in. Then add all the keyframes again and this time we're gonna make these second keyframes a slow fade and the first ones we're gonna make them a fast fade so let's do that. Fast fade. Fast fade and fast fade. So we're gonna go to the first keyframe on Z, distant, Z distance, and this is just gonna stay as a 0 0.1, just like the previous one. I wrote 9.1, okay. And the rotate, it's gonna be negative 90 instead of just 90. And the shift Y is gonna be negative 5. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Like I said, super easy. Not as complex as everybody thinks it is. Really easy to do. You can e easily do this fast. You just need to remember the numbers for each individual thing. And it won't be as hard. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Make sure to like this video if it did help you out. And uh, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And uh, turn on that bell just to, so you guys can actually see my videos whenever I post them. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.